This is tutorial number seven, and it covers the save management feature within CATIA v5. To start off, let's open up tutorial parts 6a, 6b, 6c, and 6d. Once you have them all up and loaded, what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to introduce you to the save management feature within CATIA v5. Now, to get to the save management feature, you have to click File, Save Management, and the Save Management box will come up. Now, compared to other CAD systems, uh, some you're able just to click File, Save, or Save As. CATIA v5 has this Save Management feature that allows you to look at each individual part uh, that you have open, look at what's going on with it, where it's being saved, and allows you to manipulate your saves uh, more precisely so you don't uh, overwrite things or mess up uh, other save options. So on the side here, as we've all just opened up these parts, you'll notice that the state on all of these parts are just open. Now the state can either be open, modified, or new. So a modified one would be if we modified one of the parts, it's going to show modified. If it's a brand new part, it's going to show new. Then over here in the name, it tells you what it's called. The location is where you're being, where you are saving your document to. The action is going to be the action that we're going to take. So you can either have it as a save action or you can reset it after. And your access shows if you're able to uh, write on it or if it's a read-only part. Now, I highly recommend that with all the saves you do, enable independent saves. When you click it, it's going to give you a dialog box that says you may lose some data. Just click OK. Always have independent saves so that you can save only the documents you want. If I was to save this uh, assembly without the independent saves and say something happened along the way and it saved over the parts that I was using previously, it doesn't really do what you want it to do all the time, so you're better off to actually select the assembly and each individual part. I've had experiences myself personally that with CATIA v5 that when you save, sometimes it saves over stuff that you didn't even think it would be touching. So I would highly recommend to keep the enable independent saves on and select which products you want to save independently. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a few changes to these parts quickly and then we're going to go back into the save management and we're going to apply some of these saves. So just click cancel to get out of it. And what we're going to do to this product here is we're just going to delete this guy here. So click part one, click delete, and let's also open up a brand new file. So let's click File, New, and let's open up a new part. Now let's go into our Save Management again. So let's click File, Save Management. And now you'll notice that in the states, we have a modified document and a new document. So I took away one of the cylinders in this assembly. So let's save this modified document. So we'll click Enable Independent Saves, and then you have the option to save or save as. So you can save as, give it a new name, or just click Save and keep the original name. I'm going to keep the original name, so I'm going to click Save. And then for the new document, you only have Save As as your option. So I'm going to click Save As, I'm going to be prompted, give it a new name, and then you're able to save it. Now, with all the other parts that are open, there's no change to it, so I don't have to do any changes to them right now. And if you have clicked on a save and you don't want it, all you have to do is click Reset, and it'll take away that action. And we'll do it again for the new one. Click Reset, and it'll take away the action. So the Save Management feature is a great feature in CATIA v5, as it lets you really see deep down what you're saving, where is it going, and the state of all your models. So remember, whenever you do it, to enable the independent save, and then go over each save independently and save it. This will uh, eliminate any confusion that CATIA v5 is going to have by overwriting files or uh, saving over files that you didn't even think were associated with your assembly or your part. So do independent saves, go through it, and just take your time. And that concludes our tutorial on the save management feature within CATIA v5.